Hi, it's Mrs. Cat, and I'm here to help wrap up unit one with a three levels diagram on density. Now that we've finished up everything we need to, we're going to plop all those things right here on a three levels diagram. As usual, we're going to start by defining density, our main concept, in our center triangle. And we're going to define this as the relationship between mass and volume, okay? Um, we can also include as part of this that density is going to show how tightly packed particles are in a substance. Or are in a substance. Okay, so I'm actually going to go from symbolic up to macro and back to particulate as we talk about this, since one of the last things that we did with density was the mass and volume lab. So this is a great place that we can start to summarize our symbolic nature of density. So, um, First thing, units for density um, can vary. And these can be grams per milliliter, um, or they can be grams per centimeter cubed. Remember that one milliliter and one centimeter cube are equivalent. Okay, so from our lab, we're gonna include a sketch of the graph that we had in lab three. So we're gonna have an X and a Y axis. Okay, we're gonna have mass in grams on the Y axis. We're gonna have volume, either um, centimeters cubed or milliliters, doesn't matter. Um, I'm gonna leave it blank for now, but we're gonna show the slope of a line, okay? So I'm going to change colors here, m equals slope, and then we're going to make a note here that slope gives the density of the substance. Okay, so you should be able to either be given data to plot graphically like we did in the lab and find the slope to get the density, or maybe you're given a graph like you were on some of the problem sets and you have to find the density from there, um, or you can interpret those graphs, okay? So that's how we're gonna look at density symbolically. This is probably what you're most familiar with and is probably what you have used density um, for in the past, just kind of calculations based. Okay. Let's hop up to macroscopic and think about what density can, information we can um, kind of consider when we are interacting with matter um, as a human being. So um, first thing we want to say is that objects can have the same volume, but different masses. Um, this is showing a difference in density. Um, a great example of this would be um, from the lab. So we have a cube of aluminum. Oh, I'm going to do my best to like make this appropriately colored and to make it look like a cube. Okay, there's aluminum, and then, um, oh, let's see if I can find a color that's going to be, yeah, we'll go orange. It's not really perfect, but brass is kind of orangey brown. 
So this is graphs. Okay. So we can say for these two, this is exactly what's happening. Okay. These are both going to have the same volume. But brass has a higher mass. Okay, um, another example would be the reverse of this. So objects can have the same mass, but different volumes. A um, good example here would be a ball bearing, which is rather small and metal. They come in different sizes, but we're going to imagine that we have a ball bearing that has the same mass as, well, I'm going to do my best to draw this, a baseball. Okay, let's see, red stitching. That looks like a baseball, right? Sure, close enough. So let's say these have the same mass, but the baseball is obviously gonna have a larger volume because it takes up more space. Okay, moving on to particulate. Obviously, we're gonna need to draw some particle diagrams here. So we're gonna show a couple different examples of some particulate pictures. I'm gonna start out with a particle that a particle diagram that shows two samples with the same mass, but different volumes. So I'm going to go nine particles. Yikes, I kind of ran out of my space here. Okay. Um, so we kind of already did this um, in our lab, but what we want to show here is that particles are tightly packed versus particles are loosely packed. And so we can compare the densities here. So we're going to say if they're tightly packed, this is going to give us a higher density. So we're going to say, therefore, more dense. And then more loosely packed, therefore, less dense. Okay. So again, I want to point out, these have the same number of particles. So they're going to have the same mass but the particles in the first set of pictures are taking up less space. So that's gonna make them higher density, more mass for less volume, where the particles on the right-hand side take up more space for the same amount of mass, less dense, okay? So another set of pictures that we can do would be having um, different numbers of particles to show different densities. So, Let's go different color particle. So let's say I've got, okay, um, the same amount of space that I want to take up. So I'm going to try to show, let's try that again. I didn't do a very good job there. I'm going to try to show the same volume. There we go. That's a lot better. Okay, so here we've got same volume. Let's make a note of that. Same volume. Um, but the difference is the packing of these particles. Okay, same volume, less particles is going to be less dense. So less particles means it's going to be less dense. More particles. going to be more dense. Okay, last set of pictures. We want to show different volumes, but show equal, don't need this anymore, um, but show equal densities. 
So I'm going to go one more color. Oh, let's go orange. Okay. So I'm going to show four particles. Okay. Okay, and 12 particles. So my goal was to have an equal ratio of number of particles to volume for that particle, set of particles. Okay, so what we should see is that each set of four particles is taking up the same volume. Okay. So this is going to show that we have equal density and that's because same ratio of particles to volume, which really is the space between particles. So that's going to wrap up our last three levels diagram for unit one on density, okay? making sure that we are really truly understanding density in all three levels, okay? adding to your prior knowledge of symbolic by talking about macro and particulate. Thanks.